Hey everyone, it's Lori from Pure Imagination. I have to be quiet this week because Hubby's still in bed. But I had a really good week in books, and if the cat will stop standing on them, I'll show them to you. Um, let's get started. For review, I received Entwined by Heather Dixon, which is all shimmery, see? And this was a surprise, but I had it on my wish list, so I was really happy about it. I've heard some mixed things about it, but I hope it's good. I hope I like it. Um, I also got Moonglass by Jessie Kirby for review, and this was a surprise too. I'd actually never even heard of it before it came, but it sounds really good, so I'm excited about it. And it also came with this little bag of the cat's trying to attack me. This little bag of Moonglass, or I guess a uh, sea glass. That's my really tiny kitty, can't you tell? But it came in this little bag of sea glass and it has a tag on it. It's just the book cover. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I also got Strings Attached by Judy Blundell. And I've heard really good things about her previous books. I think they won awards and everything. Yeah, it says winner of the National Book Award. So I'm excited to read this one. And, but my most thing, uh, my most exciting thing of the week was The Unwanted by Lisa McMahon. This is um, her first middle grade book and it's her first, it's her longest book yet and I'm super excited about it. I actually went to Lisa's book signing on Tuesday and uh, this came on Wednesday so that's my luck. But uh, she read the first two chapters, three chapters while we were at the book signing and it sounds really good so I can't wait to get started on that one. And while I was at the book signing, I bought my own copy of Crier's Cross, which I've already read and reviewed, but I didn't have my own copy. And she signed it for me, along with my other books. Um, I also bought, this cat is crazy, I also bought Starlight by Leslie Livingston. Um, I read this one last year or two years ago, a year and a half ago, I don't know, when it came out, and uh, I really liked it, but I, I didn't, I had it on my Kindle, and I have the other two in real book copies, non-ebook copies, so I needed my own copy, and it was a bargain book on Amazon, so I couldn't pass it up. I had one random act of kindness this week from Alyssa at the Babbling Bookworm. She sent me The Eternal Ones by Kirsten Miller. And I've already read and reviewed that one too, but I didn't have a finished copy. And she sent me her extra finished copy, so I'm really excited about that. So thank you, Alyssa. And that's all for me this week. Um, the kitty down here says bye. So I hope you guys had a good week, and I can't wait to see what you got in your mailbox.